Hello fellow DIYers! Today's video is going to be the 7th day follow-up on our previous experiment on dry pour concrete versus wet pour concrete. If you haven't seen the first video, I encourage you to check that video as well to see how we prepared these samples. I will include that link in the card to your top right and also include them in the description as well as the card after this video. First, we want to examine the samples visually and then we will drive my minivan over it to see if any of them will crack or crumble just like what happened last time. And by the way, I just wanted to let you know that we are using a small sample so that we can easily compare the difference in strength between these two methods. Because if I use a thick concrete, both may be able to handle the stress we are putting in it during the few seconds that we test it, but it may not be able to handle it if we put it on the same test over and over for multiple days. So let me just switch them. Okay, so these are the wet pour and these are the dry pour. So if you look to the back, you can see they're still wet. And this is because I put them in the ground and constantly water them every day. So I water them at least five times daily. That is so that I can help them cure slowly so that it will promote a stronger concrete, okay? So if you look here, it looks solid to me. The same thing with this one. You still have those air pockets that we saw last time. Okay, so they both look and feel solid, but we'll see if they're still solid after we drive our minivan over it. At seven days, a wet poured concrete should have at least 70% of its strength. We are not sure about the strength of the dry pour sample at this point, but we're hoping to find that out in our test today. What we're looking for today is that both examples should exhibit less damage as compared to our last test. Our first test or video was done only three days after we created the samples. So with that, let's go ahead and put this to the test. Okay, so last time what we did is we put our dry pour on that side and then wet pour on that side right there. So this time I'm going to reverse them. I'm going to put our dry pour there and I'll put our wet pour right here. You know, just in case there's like difference in weight, especially uh, that is the driver side. Let's go ahead and set them up and give it a try. So this is my dry pour right here. I make sure I put them in the middle. And this is our wet pour right here. And while we are setting up, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification on so that you get updates when I upload the new video. Okay, so now let me go drive on top of it. Okay, so the van is on top of it right now. Let me go ahead and just quickly check it. Okay, that's the wet pour right now. Looks like it's holding up well. And this is the dry pour concrete right now. It looks like they're both holding up well, okay? So what I'll do next is I'll probably leave it there for about five minutes. And then after that, I'll go forward and then I'll go back up again. Okay, so it's been five minutes. So let me go move forward and then move back up. And then we'll see if there's any damage on the samples. Okay, I'm going to go move forward. And now I'm going to go move backward. Okay, so this is at seven days. So this is the wet pour concrete. You can see right now, it looks like uh, the corner, it looks like the corner gave in a little, see right there. But there's no more crack like what happened last time. Okay, so last time we got like a crack right here, but this one, the only thing that gives in is the corner, okay? So this is again the wet pour concrete, and this is after seven days, okay? So let me go show you this. Looks like it moved a little, or that's probably my tire, but again, this is our wet pour concrete. So now let's go ahead and check the dry pour concrete. Okay, so... This is our dry pour concrete sample. 
and you can see uh, it did crumble but it looks like it's still curing right here so it's still soft inside compared to the wet pour at seven days so it looks like at seven days the dry pour is still not solid enough compared to the wet pour okay and you can see right here it crumbled just like last time but it's not as bad as before so i'm not really sure you know will the dry pour concrete get stronger as it cures for another 21 days we will see that once we do our last pair of samples so but for now it's not pretty encouraging to me um the thing still crumbles it's still soft but you know you'll see here this actually have become more solid inside compared to the last time last time everything was powdered this time it did show some strength but uh, it's still not enough to carry the load of the minivan okay and again we'll check the samples again in 21 days and make sure to click that subscribe button if you want to see if the dry pour concrete will be able to match the strength of the wet pour once they are fully cured. And I will post that video in a couple of weeks. And thank you for watching.